In this episode, we'll go to the Lebanese mountains to visit the biggest forest in the Middle East, picturesque cities of Jezin and Qasin, colorful Faluha lakes, and we'll admire mountain landscapes. Join us now! Lebanon is located in the eastern part of the Mediterranean Sea. During this episode, we'll explore a little bit of its mountains, visiting Jezin and Qasin, which are in the southern part of the country, about one hour and a half car ride from Beirut. The country covers only 10,452 square kilometers, but its nature is so diverse. Jezin is located about 1,000 meters above the sea level. It is surrounded by pine forests, vineyards and orchards, being the main summer resort of South Lebanon. The town is also well known in Lebanon for its production of handmade, traditional cutlery, artisanal wine and the shrine of Our Lady of the Waterfall. The town overlooks a cliff of 40 meters high with famous waterfall. Unfortunately, in summertime it's not as impressive as during other parts of the year. On the top of the cliff there are coffee houses and restaurants overlooking the landscape of Wadi Jezin. You can enjoy traditional Lebanese cuisine while admiring this beautiful landscape. In the center of the town, there is municipal palace, which was built according to the Ottoman style in the 19th century. The inhabitants of Jezin are mainly Maronite and Melkite Christians. Overall, about 30% of Lebanon's population are Christians, most of them Maronites. In the city center, you can visit beautiful San Antoine monastery, which dates back to 18th century. The lovely arched stone interior makes the church worth a quick look in. Now we are heading nearby Pkesin, with largest pine forest in the Middle East. The pine forest is the most important feature of the village. It is a privileged destination for ecotourism and plays an important role in the rural economy by offering great economic opportunities through the harvesting of pine nuts. Today we are in the village of Kessin uh, in southern Lebanon. This village is uh, known for uh, pine forests which are growing over there. If you want to do some picnic, in the sides of these uh, uh, trees. It looks very nice, the area. For someone who thinks that Lebanon is uh, in the Middle East, so it's full of uh, deserts or something like that. It's completely wrong because uh, in Lebanon you have no desert, desert actually, and a lot of uh, uh, like the huge part of the land is uh, covered by by trees and by you know nature. Still hello. The village of Kassin is characterized by the charm of its central square, where you can find Saint Tecla, one of the most beautiful churches in Lebanon, the small souk and the red tiled houses. A range of natural contrasts can be seen in the surrounding area, from bare mountains to loose valleys watered by waterfalls. Views change rapidly, from pine-covered hills to rocky landscapes and fertile plains dotted with olive trees. Every September, Kessin celebrates the Saint Tecla Festival, which is one of the most popular events in the south. During the festival, the ladies of Kessin prepare organic homemade mune, and the municipality organizes a number of exciting events. The view over the village with this original Lebanese uh, houses architecture is very nice. Now we are going east from Beirut to the quiet mountain village of Faluha, 
where beautiful man-made lakes are located. The Lebanese mountains offer a large variety of charming lakes, which allows its visitors the opportunity to enjoy a nice experience away from the summer heat in Beirut and coastal cities. So now we are climbing a little bit the mountain to see the lakes from above. From above, yes. Here you can see first of them, which are in this lowest level, but from above the, the view will be much better. Falura lakes are located about 1600 meters above the sea level. They were constructed to collect water from rain for use in agriculture by village inhabitants. The origin of the name Falura is Syriac and it means divide, symbolizing two winter rivers that divide the village. There are a variety of hiking trails in this picturesque area. One of them passes through Sohat's spring water bottling plant and the mountain when the first Lebanese flag was raised in 1943 after gaining independence from France. Thanks to the Lebanese mountains, uh, which, uh, which are in the mainland of Lebanon, the country has uh, a lot of uh, resources of, of water, so uh, it's not like other any uh, Middle Eastern country. There is no desert in Lebanon and uh, a lot of nature, a lot of trees, so it's completely different country that many people could imagine because it's, uh, this, this, uh, thanks to these mountains to this, which are uh, quite high, the, the highest peak like, which is 3000 meters above sea level. So uh, it uh, enables them to to stop the water which is evaporating from from the Mediterranean Sea, and this this land is so fertile. It's very nice. The village of Falura has preserved its traditional 19th century appearance with its many red tiled stone houses, including the old Serralio, whose portal combines Levantine and Italian influences. In the village live together Christians and Druze communities. We saw only a small piece of Lebanon and its mountain landscapes. This extraordinary country hides many secrets and charming places that I want to show you and encourage you to visit this place. It's really worth it.